Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, DC, your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov, undefeated 27-0. And history is certainly going to look back fondly upon what this guy has accomplished and puts that undefeated record online yet again here tonight. Usually at this point in your career, guys have made a mistake. There's been a hiccup. For Khabib, there has been no hiccup, no missteps on his way to becoming one of the longest undefeated streaks that we've seen in mixed martial arts history and it's because the skill is so high in every facet of mixed martial arts he has fantastic striking he has unbelievable wrestling coupled with his sambo in the ground control in the ground and pound of habib Nurmagomedov is second to none one of the most damaging dominant fighters the ufc has ever seen he is a man of principle and no one knows better than you there may be guys who work as hard in the game but no one works harder than Khabib. nobody works harder ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins a referee in charge of the octagon eve loving This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The Giant! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! Okay, could take yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go with round one. You are paid to tell us what you think is going to happen as an analyst. We have a striker, we have a grappler. Doesn't always play out that way, but what are you expecting to see in this? I'm expecting the grappler to try and go and make contact with his opponent. Right. If he can make contact, he can drag his fight to the mat. I expect the striker to try and maintain range with his jab, with his kicks, to make this a stand-up affair. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Big punch lands over the top. I'll still follow this one up. 
Single collar tie now. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. And they separate. Oh, really using reach advantage there with that land, DC. There was a lead elbow. So he's mixing everything up. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. And they separate. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. There's no give for that leg kick. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Under three minutes remain in round one. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Nurmagomedov. Nice head kick. Stuff to take down, no problem. And they set. Nice punch land. Got the single collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammates. Of you're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early and he lands often. Big and kick. And a nice good jab there. Just misses there with the left. Oh, rips the body shot there. Oh, he eats a knee. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, collar tie. Massive knee lands from the tie punch. And he landed the right hand there. Why right, should so the taller fighter lands a knee and Daniel Cormier to my right? I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. And they separate. Under a minute to go in our opening round. So there it is, longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he has certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. And with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, side control now. Neil Billy. He's laying down cross pump. If he doesn't move on the bottom, he's going to get finished. Looks like the referee could step in here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear to the opponent's down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice punch there by Nurmago Meta. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. 
stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Right on the button. And there comes the separation now. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is... Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempt without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Back mount now. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. His opponent's got double hooks in, now under the chin. It's starting to get deep. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal oh. or a sweep. Now a knee. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Nurmago Medov's able to transition back to side control now. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! He's having his way with him here. Nurmago Medov gets back up again. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Way to control the posture of your opponent. Rotate him and then throw that big elbow around the guard. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Takedown defense holds up. More tight club. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Keeps the elbow there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over to secure these takedowns. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount lock. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Gotta be careful, bro. the horn at the end of the round, so the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up.
All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. All right, so we'll see how it goes here in this round. Previous round, it was all him just taking his opponent down, really every time he entered. Yeah, every time he got in on the leg, he was able to secure a finish. And that is the idea you want as a wrestler going into a fight. If you have to change up the technique, it's fine. It's not always gonna be the very first attack. When it's the first attack, you're very happy. But most times, you gotta chain things together if you wanna take down a great fighter. And we know how hard it is to maintain the wrestling, right? The hours required in the gym to make sure that wrestling's still at a high level, he's putting in the time. Yes, he's putting in the time. And also, you see it in his movements. When he gets to an attack, he's constantly shifted positions. He's constantly moving his opponent. He's constantly trying to give him too much information to process. Right. And that comes from a lifetime of wrestling. If he just started this, it would be very difficult to trick his opponent. But now, by giving him so many different looks, he's been able to secure takedown after takedown after takedown. Get your hips back. Move your hips. Well, he's got his back now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you gotta intelligently defend or the referee's gonna stop. You gotta defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Effective strike there by Ricardo Meta. Big knee land. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head. Oh, single collar tie here. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over? Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. And they both stand up. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Wow, oh, another takedown by the Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Puppy. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking enough. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Jock in for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right, boy, tie clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Now he's got the 
Muay Thai Club. Nice punch there by Nermago Meadow. All right, 20 seconds to oh. go in the round. Just missed with the left there. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early enough. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be very proud of the work he did over the course of that last round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this round. He had a big effort there in round one. Really had the wrestling on full display. John, if he was looking to come out here, secure takedown, to feel good about the way things were going. He gets, oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Oh! Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, nice. Nice. Stuffs the takedown with him. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get -ups. Look at the investment that this young man. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. All right, single collar tie now. He throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Well, a lot of fighters say there's no worse feeling on fight night than when your cardio abandons you, and there's been a lot of output in this fight, but both of these men are absolutely against. They both fought very hard. But good night, guys. And in the second round, you saw the other guy. Good night, guys. Now they're left with no cardio, and there's gonna be a question of will and determination, and that gonna be who wins the fight. Single collar tie now. Nice. Ooh. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Huge elbow hit. All right, so he's got his head here, looking to set up the guillotine choke now. Watch guillotine. He might get a finish here. Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition to side mount as he counters the guillotine. Might be able to sink in a Von Flu choke here.
What a fight! Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career, and it'll be very interesting to see how they matchmake him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 39 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by tap out, the giant! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish. And they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again. Eventually, he found one tonight and got the desired result.